I'm Ian with Redline here at 5R Trucks. We've uh, hooked the guys up with one of our ROT 3K rotisseries to uh, help make uh, life around the shop a little easier. So today we've got our panel truck up on our two post lift. We're bringing in the two halves of the rotisseries, getting it mounted it up, uh, getting the center of gravity balanced out with the rotating axis of the, uh, of the rotisserie, and if necessary, building any brackets to make it all hook up and work. We're gonna have to raise up just a little. Yeah, I need to be about right there. I'm good down here, about where I need to be. This whole arm here? No, no, just, just the these? Part. We're going to put that, that arm right here, right before it starts turning, and stick it right there. Okay. Sounds good to me. There we go. So the purpose of a rotisserie and why you want it, suppose that you're putting uh, replacement floorboards in your vehicle because they've rotted out, happens to pretty much all of your, your classic cars. That's not naturally not something you want to do lying on your back welding above you. So you put it on a rotisserie, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you can perform you know any kind of repair like that while standing up. And that can be said for 360 degrees all the way around the car, even working on the roof. Uh, so it really just makes it a whole lot easier. Okay. So how does this thing naturally balance out? Basically what you're trying to do is find the center of gravity of the vehicle and make sure that it is lined up with the rotating axis of the rotisserie, right? Now, the way that this works is you've got this threaded, uh, threaded rod along the front of the T-carriage and you're using and turning that, of course removing this pin, yep. to raise and lower the T-carriage in reference to the masthead right here. The reason this is important is you're trying to get the center of gravity of the vehicle to where it is in line vertically with this center. That way you're spinning the car. You're not raising, you're not lowering the car. So then you adjust it by turning on the big nut on the top, raise or lower the T-carriage, and get it balanced out. Those balancing systems are worth their weight in gold. Yeah, they are nice. Uh, if you ever use a rotisserie without one, you'll curse it. So right. the front one almost. I'll do the same on the front. All right, uh, Jake, yes, sir. let's just try and grab it here. Kind of get a feel for whether or not we think it's balanced, you know? We're real close. Yeah, we're pretty. Real close. Yeah. Better. I barely put any pressure on it. Pretty much the biggest vehicle you can put on a rotisserie and everything turned out perfect. The way it rolled, there was three of us, but we barely even put any pressure on it, so that's awesome. Yeah, we got it balanced out and that made all of the difference. Uh, really appreciate the opportunity to come out here and work with you guys oh, yeah. and uh, put this thing on this uh, rotisserie for you. Yep. It was awesome. So we were super excited to get the call at Redline to come out here to 5R Trucks and bring one of our rotisseries and show everybody how to use it, get it mounted up. It's a great opportunity. I can't wait to see how this whole panel truck turns out.